Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mad TV. Today, I would like to share the Marilyn series of e about cos x. As usual, we can let fx be equal to the function, which is e about cos x. At point x is equal to 0, cos 0 is equal to 1, which means that we have e about 1 or simply e. Let's differentiate the function with respect to x. We can apply the chain rule and differentiate the function or make use of a simple hex synthesis exponential function. What we have to do here is firstly copy exactly the same e to the power cos x and now multiply the derivative of the power which is negative sine x. At point x is equal to 0, sine 0 is equal to 0, anything multiplied 0 we get back. 0. Let's differentiate the function with respect to x for the second time. We can apply the product rule and differentiate the function, but I'm going to make use of a simple hat since this is a product of functions involving exponential function. What we have to do here is firstly copy the exponential function, which is e to the power cos x, then make a bracket and copy the rest of the function, which is negative sine x, and we should differentiate and obtain negative cos x. Lastly, is obtain the derivative of the power and multiply to the first term in inside the bracket, so we should have multiply negative sine x. Simplified, we should obtain e to the power of cos x times negative negative positive, so we have sine squared x, and lastly, we have minus cos x, and hence with that. At point x is equal to 0, we have e to the power of 1 times 0 minus 1, which is negative e. Let's continue to differentiate the function with respect to x. Also, follow the simple hack. Firstly, copy the exponential function e to the power of cos x. Then, make a bracket and copy the rest of the functions. So, we have sine squared x minus cos x. Since we have two terms, so we need a bracket. And now, differentiate them. Differentiate sine squared x. Power bring down, we have 2. Power loss 1. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, which means that we have sine to the power 1x or simply sine x. Differentiate sine, we obtain cos. And now, differentiate the next term. Differentiate negative cos x, we obtain positive sine x. Lastly, obtain the derivative of the power and we should have times negative sine x. Simplify, we should have e to the power of cos x times sine squared x times negative sine x, which is negative sine cube x. Negative, negative, positive cos x times sine x plus 2 sine x cos x. So we have positive 3 sine x multiplied cos x and the last term plus sine x. Up to this point, we should have two methods to continue. Firstly, is to continue to differentiate the function by using the product rule. However, if you don't like to keep differentiating the function by using product rule for many, many times, we can actually consider the second method that is transform the product of trigonometric functions by using trigonometric identity. For example, recall the double angle identity for the sine function. So we have sine 2x is equal to 2 times sine x times cos x. Since we have 3 sine x times cos x here, which means that this is equal to 3 over 2 sine 2x. And for the rest of the two terms, we can actually factorize. So we have sine x times 1 minus sine squared x. By using the Pythagoras identity, we should have sine x times cos squared x, which can be written as sine x times cos x times cos x. From here, we can see that this can also be transformed by using the double angle identity. So we should have 1 over 2 times sine 2x. Don't forget to multiply cos x. Next, I'm going to transform this by using the product sum identity. So we should have 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, which is 1 over 4, followed by sine a plus b. From here, we can see that we should have 2x plus x, which is 3x. And we have plus 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, 1 over 4 also, followed by sine x. And this time, we should have a minus b, which is 2x minus x, and obtain x. Which means that the third derivative can be written as e to the power of cos x, multiplying 1 over 4 sine 3x plus 3 over 2 sine 2x plus 1 over 4 sine x. Therefore, at point x is equal to 0 since we have all terms with sine x, which means that definitely we should obtain 0. Anything multiplied 0, we get back. Zero. Let's continue to differentiate the function with respect to x. Also, follow the simple hack. Firstly, copy the exponential function e to the power of cos x bracket. Copy the rest of the functions. So we have 1 over 4 times sine 3x plus 3 over 2 times sine 2x plus 1 over 4 times sine x. 
and differentiate them. So we should have 3 over 4 cos 3x plus 3 cos 2x plus 1 over 4 cos x. Don't forget to differentiate the power of the derivative so we have times negative sine x. Expand these terms and we should have e to the power cos x times negative 1 over 4 sine 3x times sine x minus 3 over 2 sine 2x multiply sine x minus 1 over 4 sine x multiply sine x and plus the remaining terms so we have 3 over 4 cos 3x plus 3 cos 2x plus 1 over 4 cos x by using the product sum identity let's transform the first term so we should have negative 1 over 4 times positive 1 over 2 which is negative 1 over 8 and we have cos a minus b 3x minus x 2x negative negative positive also 1 over 8 cos a plus b 3x plus x 4x and for the second term we have negative positive negative 3 over 2 times 1 over 2 3 over 4 also cos a minus b 2x minus x 1x negative negative positive also 3 over 4 cos a plus b 2x plus x 3x and for the third term we have negative 1 over 4 times 1 over 2 negative 1 over 8 also cos a minus b x minus x is 0 followed by negative negative positive also 1 over 8 cos a plus b x plus x which is 2x and copy the rest of the terms since nothing to transform so we have 3 over 4 cos 3x plus 3 cos 2x plus 1 over 4 cos x Let's simplify and arrange the functions according to the angle in descending order. So we have e to the power of cos x times, firstly refer to 4x, so we have positive 1 over 8 cos 4x, followed by 3x, so we should have 3 over 4 cos 3x plus 3 over 4 cos 3x, which is equal to 3 over 2 cos 3x, followed by angle 2x, so we should have negative 1 over 8 cos 2x plus positive 1 over 8 cos 2x plus 3 cos 2x and end up we should have 3 cos 2x followed by the angle x so we should have negative 3 over 4 cos x plus 1 over 4 cos x which is equal to negative 1 over 2 cos x and lastly minus 1 over 8 cos 0 is equal to 1 so 1 times anything we get by the same thing and now close bracket at point x is equal to 0 we have 4e Let's continue to differentiate the function with respect to x. Also, firstly, copy the explanation function e to the power of cos x, make a bracket, copy the rest of the functions, differentiate 1 over 8 cos 4x is negative 1 over 2 sine 4x. Differentiate 3 over 2 cos 3x is equal to negative 9 over 2 sine 3x. Differentiate 3 cos 2x is negative 6 sine 2x. Differentiate negative 1 over 2 cos x is positive 1 over 2 sine x. Differentiate constant we obtain 0. Lastly, don't forget to differentiate the power of this exponential function. So we have negative sine x. Let's expand this term so we should have e to the power of cos x times negative 1 over 8 cos 4x times sine x minus 3 over 2 cos 3x times sine x minus 3 cos 2x times sine x negative negative positive 1 over 2 cos x times sine x plus 1 over 8 sine x and complete the rest of the terms let's transform the terms if needed so we should have e to the power of cos x times firstly negative 1 over 8 times 1 over 2 which is negative 1 over 16 and we have sine a plus b 4x plus x which is 5x negative negative positive 1 over 16 also sign but this time we should have a minus b which is 4x minus x we obtain 3x followed by negative positive negative 3 over 2 times 1 over 2 3 over 4 sign a plus b 3x plus x which is 4x plus 3 over 4 sign a minus b 3x minus x which is 2x minus 3 over 2 sign a plus b 2x plus x 3x plus 3 over 2 sine 2x minus x which is x and for the next term we can apply the double angle identity for the side function and we should obtain 1 over 4 sine 2x and copy the rest of the terms 
then we can now simplify the function according to the angles in descending order. So we should have negative 1 over 16 sine 5x followed by 4x. So we should have negative 5 over 4 sine 4x followed by angle 3x. And we should have negative 95 over 16 sine 3x followed by the angle 2x. And we should have negative 5 sine 2x. And lastly, the angle x, which is 17 over 8 sine x. If point x is equal to 0, we obtain 0 since all terms with the sine function sine 0 equal to 0. And now let's continue to differentiate the function with respect to x. Also, follow the symbol here. Firstly, copy the exponential function and now make a bracket. Copy the rest of the function and differentiate them. Lastly, differentiate the power of this exponential function and we should have negative sine x. If we are asked to expand this function in terms of parallel series for the first four non-zero terms, basically we can stop here. Otherwise, we should further expand and make use of either the product rule or the trigonometric identities. From here, we can see that we have cos functions, which means that the value at point x is equal to zero for this derivative will definitely not equal to zero and hence we should have one, two, three, and four terms now. Let's determine the value at point x is equal to zero. For this terms, since multiplying to sine function, sine zero is equal to zero, this term can be ignored. Say anything multiplied zero, we get by zero. We just have to evaluate these terms. So at point x is equal to zero, we should have negative 31 e. With the values that we obtain at point x is equal to 0, we can now form the Marilyn series. So we should have e to the power of cos x is equal to firstly the original function at point x is equal to 0, which is equal to e. And we plus first derivative 0, so we can ignore since anything multiplied 0, we get back 0. Followed by the second derivative, which is negative e. Since second derivative, which means that we take 2 factorial x to the power of 2 followed by the derivative 0 again, so ignore. For any terms with 0, simply ignore. Since anything multiplied 0, we get back 0. And we just have to take the non-zero term. So for the fourth derivative, we have 4e divided by 4 factorial x to the power of 4. And for the sixth derivative, we have negative 31e over 6 factorial x to the power of 6. And so on. Let's evaluate. We can factorize the constant e. So we have 1 minus 1 over 2x squared plus 1 over 6 x to the power 4 minus 31 over 720 x to the power of 6 and so on and hence be done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you